It looks like Belle and Seer managed to get away from Freya's familia, but it didn't last too long. The episode started out with Belle and Seer playing it cool as Freya's familia followed them and Hestia and Ice weren't too far behind as well. But this dude Alan tried to block them. I was like, Hestia kind of has the right to know where Belle is at, even though she's trying to interrupt what's going on. While that was going on, Belle and Seer went into a shop where some of Freya's members were at and that's where they lost them. And Freya's familiar went into immediate search mode. I know the people around there was looking at them funny. They trying to enjoy the festival and they running around. The reason that they were able to get away was because they were invisible using a cloak. Once they got far enough away, they went to a cathedral that is a historical structure based on a certain heroic tale. Basically, there was a knight who had exchanged a vow of love with the spirit and he was torn between her and someone else. And the spirit was the one he didn't choose. The spirit was so distraught by her love for him, she tried to eliminate him, but she ended up saving him. It happened when some monsters showed up again, and she was the one who got taken out to keep the knight safe. After Bell told Seer that, he mentioned what he learned from the story was that the hero failed to keep his loved one safe and for others not to make the same mistake. I don't know, that story and some of the characters kind of seem similar to what Bell has going on to an extent. This part right here, I'm not too sure if this is foreshadowing, but Seer asked him what if she was like the spirit? What would he do if she got angry and hurt someone? Bell let her know that he would try to stop her so that Seer wouldn't suffer the misery of hurting anyone. I do wonder if something is going to happen in the future that's similar to the story that was talked about. Now that some time has passed, Bell and Seer are going to go have dinner, but Seer saw someone selling an accessory. It breaks into two pieces. One has the knight on it and the other has the spirit on it. So y'all already know Seer was letting Belle know that she wanted the accessory and he had to spend that money. I think that accessory will come into play sometime later on. They made it in time to the ship that they're going to be having dinner on and Belle thought because they were in open water that Freya's familiar wouldn't be able to get to them. But he did notice something was off that someone was looking at them. And they were because Hestia and Eyes were there. Also, some of the people from the pub were there as well. It was funny because one of them mentioned how they left the pub just to be working again. They might as well have some fun while they were spying on Belle and Seer because once they get back, Mia gonna be mad. While Belle and Seer were eating, he wondered if she was an ordinary waitress. She told him if he wants to know who she really is, can he promise nothing will change between them? He let her know nothing would change well if he really does find out who she really is i think things will change and once again it's probably another reason why hestia is not getting a chance to see seer even in this episode just when things were going good for bell and seer freya's familiar showed up bruh they be doing the most if they knew where they were at and apparently everyone did they could have waited till the ship came back they made an ice bridge to the ship. There's literally other people on the ship trying to enjoy their food, have a romantic date, and here they are stopping everything. When one of Freya's members told the rest of them to eliminate Belle, I stood up and she was ready to fight, which she did. It's cool to see that she would do that for Belle to make sure that he doesn't get hurt, and obviously he would do the same for her. During that fight, one of them got knocked outside and he told everyone where Belle and Seer were at. That's when Seer had asked Ryu and everyone to help out. I know they were not expecting for all of that to happen. At that point, Belle and Seer had no other choice but to jump off the ship and swim back. From there, both of them are walking around and Seer is having fun. It's kind of sad that she doesn't really get to do too much, even if it's just simple stuff. And that's probably because Freya's familiar members are always around. Eventually, they got to the Heroes Bridge. They mentioned how one of the heroes, Albert, had drove the Black Dragon away. If I remember correctly, Ai's father name was Albert. Seer let Belle know they've never built a statue on the pedestal facing across Albert because no one qualifies enough to stand face to face with the hero. We know whose statue is going to be there over time. She went on to say that the world wants another hero, the final hero. One who can defeat the ancient dragon. That fight's gonna be an interesting one. When Belle and some of the others have to fight the dragon, that's gonna be an awesome fight. At that moment, Freya's familiar showed up and they made a run for it and they ended up going to a place where they wouldn't be bothered. And Belle's reaction to the whole thing was hilarious and that's where the episode ended. Overall, I thought this was a good episode. I like how they're mentioning stories about the different heroes or characters from the past and how the future, it will be Belle's turn to be the hero. 
Seer finally having some time to have fun and the different funny moments that were in the episode. But I'm interested to hear y'all thoughts. Comment below. What did you all think about the episode?